So tell me about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> what first got you started into music? I think I was always into music from a young age. Um, but definitely, I think my parents sort of pushing me not push me in that direction, but just encouraging me to pursue that. I think I probably saw something in me that not many other people did and keep me going. So your family's your biggest inspiration? Yeah, I think so. I think they're definitely uh, probably the biggest reason I'm doing what I'm doing now. Obviously yeah. down the line there was other people that sort of got involved that helped push me, but they're probably the biggest hand on the back that have been helping me um, through this and just sort of giving me that uh, just believing in me, I think, yeah. is probably the biggest thing that they've done. You know, it sort of started the same as everyone uh, in terms of music was always in my life. My parents would you know, listen to the classics like Bruce Springsteen and the Eagles and whatnot. And then it probably wasn't until late primary school that I really enjoyed singing and singing in front of people. Still was petrified, shit scared. <laughs> but um, it was, probably wasn't until then that I really loved performing and mm. such, but I've always been into music and really vibes with it. Would you say that music is a part of who you are as a person? Definitely. Yeah? Definitely. And I can't explain why, but I think for a lot of my friends, if they were to introduce me to someone, it would be Oh, this is Jacob, the music guy. Right. I think that's when you know that music is part of who you are yeah. when you are introduced as the guy that plays music. see myself doing anything else. Um, you know, year 12 came around, everyone's talking about uni and I sort of knew that I wasn't going to go in that direction and I was going to sort of focus on honing my craft and mm. yeah, it's one of those things that I think definitely paid off so far. How do you think love inspires you? But I think when looking at love in its simplest explanation it has the power to make you so incredibly happy and whole uh, but it can also break you so I think experiencing love and both sides of the coin definitely in, in turn shaped a lot of my songs I think love is I want to use the word rare I think um, I think a lot of people everyone's looking for love it's just one of those things that I think shouldn't really be tried to explain and there's a a space in between where, where it's like real genuine love and it can provide you with so much growth and happiness and in that same space there's you know the heartache but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad heartache I like to be relatable in my music and I think in order to be relatable you have to write about things that people can relate to and love is just one of those things it's a thing that everyone everyone wants and I think everyone should deserve the chance to have. What has been the biggest struggle in your career so far? It's really hard to know you want to keep that originality and you want to write beautiful songs. So knowing the next step to take to reach more people uh, is probably my biggest challenge so far and I'm sort of in that now. What does it feel like performing your songs in front of people? Powerful I guess. It's almost like show and tell. You write something, you know, and then you, you bring it to these people and you're kind of like, well, mm. this, is, this is what I've made. And, and it's cool now that people are responding to it in a positive way. Or just being like, this is me. Yeah. And having people respond to that, you know, authenticity and, and yeah, just that real sense of self. Nerds are always with you, but yeah. they're sort of out the window uh, with performing my own stuff now, just because I think I've sort of chipped away enough of my songwriting that I, I don't finish a song unless I'm really happy with it. Yeah. So I'm always proud to, to play my songs live. Do you love music? Oh yeah, definitely. And it's one of those things that I, you can't explain, you just you love it, it's everyday for me. We've got two 
In the simplest way possible, how have you got to where you are today? Supportive family and friends, supportive mentors, and honest people like my dad, honest feedback. People just going, yeah, that's great, yeah, that's great. Um, people that can give you constructive criticism. And practice hard work and a little bit of luck, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what is your biggest dream? To play my music in front of as many people as I can and have a genuine connection with them and then be there for me. Could you imagine your life without music? No, I'm not too far into it now. Yeah. It's like I've had a taste of the forbidden fruit <laughs> and now I want more. <laughs> music has helped me so much and given me so many cool things that why would I take something so good out of it, mm. out of my life? It's really cool for you guys to be here. This is a really special moment in my life. So thank you so much for being a part of it. We're going to play some songs for you guys tonight. It's, um, I'm so fucking excited to be up here. What is the big goal for you in the future? I'd like to break my goals down into sort of like a, like a ladder, like reachable ones. So I think the end one, like the furthest goal I have is probably to have a legacy. I guess. I just want to be remembered for beautiful music, yeah. hopefully. And if that means I'm remembered by one person, then that's, you know, that's okay. But ideally, you know, you want a legacy. Yeah. I, want to, I want to go big or go home. If you could, would you change anything about your career leading up to now? I don't love to look back and go, oh, I wish I did this, wish I did that. But for the purpose of the question, um, <laughs> this kills me to say, but probably listening to my parents more and and going out and performing more early, early on, I didn't do that. And I think having that maybe one, like six months to a year to two years, it definitely would have helped, but you know, just taking chances earlier, I think would have been cool, but I'm pretty happy with where I am now. Please, please be mine, and I'll be forever yours. If you could guarantee anything to be a part of your future, what would it be? Going on a world tour with my closest friends and sort of, you know, playing playing shows with people I love. Um, that's something I would love to guarantee. Don't you know I need you? from you in the next few years? Hopefully just growth, more or less. More songs, more albums, um, collaborating with different people and yeah, just growing as an artist and as a person and hopefully an audience grows with me but I guess you guys will just have to wait and see. Never have closed my eyes Cause I want to remember that day in November For the rest of time For the rest of time